is eggnog loaf bread. Hey guys, I'm back with you all. Uh, before we get into this video, I want to go over again one of the product reviews that we did on the live. If you all remember the measuring cups and the uh, measuring spoons, I want to talk about these again. The company is You Taste, and this is what they look like. Okay, these are 18-8 stainless steel measuring cups and school uh, and spoon and spoons okay and so i wanted to just show you all today how they um actually work i showed you how they look these are the cups right here these are the stainless steel cups multicolors here and i want to uh, use them they've been washed and clean and we're going to use them we've got the orange the purple the um aqua i think this is aqua or maybe this is the teal blue and the pink and our what is that green line i need to find out the colors down okay and then of course we have our spoons and what i like about them the company's name is on the back right here you taste y'all see that so that's the company's name of course the link will be in the description if you want to purchase the spoons or the um, measuring cups, okay? So let's try them. Let's just see how they look in action. Let's do that. We are about to um, make a, um, a recipe here, but I just wanted to share these with you all before um, we started this video. Just wanted to show you what they're all about. And like I said, the description, um, how you can get them, will, will, it will be in the description. These are by the company You Taste, and they are 18, 18, 18, 8 stainless steel measuring cups and spoons, okay? So if you want to make you, I mean, purchase you some, the link will be in the description, all right? So hold your horses. Let's get into this video. Okay, guys, it's Sweet Tree Friday, and it is the day after Thanksgiving. We hope you guys have enjoyed your Thanksgiving. You didn't eat too much turkey and dressing, um, too many sweets. But in case if you didn't, we've got a sweet treat here for you. Of course, Thanksgiving is over. Everybody's getting into the Christmas spirit. If y'all see my apron here, it says Christmas calories don't count. It's time for Sweet Treat Friday. And we're going to do a easy um, egg, um, easy eggnog loaf. Okay. Let me show you all. I've already got my loaf pan here. I've, uh, got my parchment paper, cut it up so our, uh, batter can go in here. That's our loaf pan. And I want to show you all, I'm going to put my ingredients together for you today. Y'all don't usually get to see me do that, but because I want to show you how these, um, uh, measuring spoons, and cups work, we're going to show you how our ingredients, how we do it today, all right? So let me pull you down so that you can see. And the first thing I'm going to do is this recipe, this eggnog bread. It's going to be a eggnog bread, a loaf bread, okay? And the first thing we're going to put in is my white lily all-purpose flour. And this is how I do my flour guys i'm gonna show you all this is how i do it i pour it in this little bowl like this okay i do it just like this and then i get my sifter okay this is my sifter i put my sifter in just like that and then i get me a knife and a spoon and this recipe calls for two cups so we're going to give us two cups just like this this is how I always do my flour 
get it across there like that. Scoop it off. I pour it into my sifter. That's one cup. Go get the second cup. Okay? So I don't think, I don't know if y'all have ever seen me uh, make up my flour, but you're seeing it today. And I like these measuring cups. I like them. They feel really, they're not too heavy. They're light feeling. I love the pretty colors on them. Scoop that off. And that's our two cups of flour. Just like that, this is how I do it. I got my two cups of flour. It calls for one teaspoon of baking soda. So we're gonna find my, let me move. Since we're done with our flour, we can cover it up. I'm gonna just sit it over here out of the way and I'll clean up everything in a minute. But I wanna show you all this. So we need one teaspoon. That's a half. That's a tablespoon. So the blue, that's how I'll probably do. I'll remember the colors. Blue is one teaspoon, okay? So we're gonna get us one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm about out of baking, well, I'm not out. I'll be out of this box. And we just scoop it across there like that. That's our one teaspoon, just like that. So we got one teaspoon of baking soda. I got a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. So let's find us a fourth. Let's see. There's our fourth. The orange is the fourth teaspoon. So we're gonna go in here. Get us. And I love this because you could just scrape it right off the top. That's your fourth. Put it in just like that. And we got a fourth, a teaspoon of my Himalayan salt. like this. That's our fourth a teaspoon of salt going in, okay? And the last thing we're going to put in dry ingredient is our ground cinnamon here, okay? And the ground cinnamon, we're going to put in a teaspoon. So I already know blue is my teaspoon. I already know. So we're going to go in here. Uh-oh, my teaspoon won't fit with it. Well, that's fine. Mm -mm. That's our teaspoon. It's a little bit more because it kind of fell out. All right, so that's our teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay, so that's all of my dry ingredients. All right. So these are our spoons that we've used, okay? All of our spoons that we've used, okay? So we, we, had a, a, a te we had a teaspoon, the blue, and then we used the fourth, okay? All right, so now what I do, I just get my sifter and I sift all my ingredients. Just like that. Show y'all how that goes. Just like that. Alright. Now, so I wanted you all to see how it works, how I do my um sifting of everything. Now that you all see how I do that. So what we're gonna do now, I just want to show you our um measuring spoons and our measuring cups. And if you want to purchase these, I will leave the link in the description for you, okay. All right, so now, let me get this cleaned up and we're gonna move on to the next step. Hold your horses. Oh, I forgot to show y'all one thing. My one cup, see that? See what I did? We got one cup. We're gonna need one cup of, let me show you all. One cup of my sugar, all right? And what I'm gonna do with this sugar, I'm gonna put my one cup in just like this. This is how I do my sugar. OK, 
okay? And I'm gonna sit it right over here in this bowl, just like that, all right? So that's it. Let me clean up and we're gonna move to the next step. Okay, guys, so now we've got everything ready. Let's start on our um, eggnog loaf bread, okay? So I've got a cup of sugar in here. Now I'm gonna put this one stick of softened butter. Okay, make sure that your butter is soft, okay? We're gonna sit that to the side. I'm gonna put in one, one stick. One egg, just like that. Now we're gonna try to kind of get this all mashed up in here, like this right here. I'm gonna use one of my new spatulas here. And we're gonna try to mix this up like this. Just like this, okay? Just like this. I love this spatula. It's like a, um, it's, you know, it's a spoon like. Okay, now I forgot to show y'all this, but this is the perfect time to show you. I already know that one teaspoon is a blue, so I'm gonna get it out. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of vanilla, just like that. Okay. Okay. Now to mix all that up like that. Now we're going to bring this flour, we're gonna make sure we combine all of this and we have, scoop this in here just like this. Get it all out. See how you get go around the edges with this spatula. Get all of this out of here. Okay. okay, now that we done put that in, I have a cup of eggnog, okay? Let me show y'all the eggnog that I got. My eggnog you want, but this is the kind that I got. When I tell you Eric loves eggnog, he loves it. And so we got eggnog here, got one cup. I'm gonna pour some in like that. Just making sure everything is combined in here really well. And it is. And now we're gonna get ready to put it in our loaf pan. Let me make sure I get all this out of there. Okay. All right. So let me spray. I just want to show you all. We're going to spray our pan here. All right, right girl. All right, now that we done sprayed in our pan. So that when we pull our loaf out, I'm going to go ahead and spray it too. Make sure I got it. Then we're going to put it right here. So that's our um, egg nut loaf bread. We're gonna put her in the oven. I'll let you know how. Cross our cake. I think I'm gonna go like this with her. Go like this. 
350. Y'all see that? 350 for 55 inches. Let's see. She's still not done. She is not done, so we're going to put her back in. All right? We're going to put her back in on 350. We're going to put her back in on 350, guys, okay? I'm going to give her another five minutes. We'll check her in five. Okay, I'm, I'm getting her, I'm getting her, I'm getting her. I'm getting her. Okay. There we go. Now, let's try. Let's test her and see. Oh yeah, she's ready. She's ready this go round. So let me just turn them so y'all can see her. That's our eggnog loaf bread. Okay, that's our eggnog loaf bread. We're gonna let her sit here and cool a little bit. And I'm gonna put some eggnog glaze. I got a, a half a cup of um, Domino's Confection sugar and I'm gonna put some eggnog with it and we are gonna glaze her up, okay? So hold your horses. Okay, guys, our loaf eggnog cake has been cooling, and we're going to um, get ready to take her out and frost her. So I'm going to take her out um, right out of the pan here. And actually, I'm going to just lift her, lift her up okay, just like this. Let me see, I'm decided, I'm undecided how I want to do her. Um, let's see. I'm going to do it right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do it right here. I'm just going to slide her off, and I'm going to put it right here. And we're going to go ahead on and make, um, mm, that's a piece of her right there. I've got my eggnog here and my confectioner's sugar and uh, I'm going to pour in about a tablespoon about a tablespoon as y'all can see I'm using one of my you taste um little spatulas here and I, I love this little spatula oh you can work with this when i tell you you can work with it y'all see how quick let me see if i can yeah yeah like that y'all see how quick this icing came together for me i used about two tablespoons that's it that's all we need That's her. That's our loaf eggnog cake. All right, so we're going to let her cool a little bit more, let her finish setting, and we'll cut her for you. All right, guys, this is our eggnog loaf bread with eggnog icing on it. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you all I'm gonna turn it up. Can you turn it down? Yeah, let me see no more. Slice it. <laughs> okay. Only thing missing, y'all, is a cup of eggnog. You want me to get you some? Nope. You don't? Mm -mm. Mm, it cuts so soft. That's what I want you to see. It's moist. You cut it all up? No, just those little pieces right there. I want you to see this stuff right there. Okay. You just show them. That's our eggnog loaf bread. Mm. Now you definitely gotta uh, 
this is this is it right here starting the christmas holiday off right all right la 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 la, la, la. Mm, 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 mm. Ma, ma, ma. Ooh, I got on my head. Look at that eggnog frosting, icing. And then that's your eggnog loaf bread. Okay? All right. All right. No cake for you? You know, I don't eat eggnog. Oh, you want me right. to get you something that was left? Nope. So let's say I grace and get up in this cake. Mm -hmm. Come on. So sad is you don't like eggnog, but you're missing something great. I am not. Yes, you are. Okay. Hold on one second. Precious Lord, we thank you for the day, God. We thank yes, you Lord. for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, God, Lord. we thank you for this time of fellowship, God. We thank you for our YouTube family. Now, Lord, as we get ready to partake in this meal, God, these blessed, sanctified. Make it holy, God. And I thank you for my wife who created it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. All so right. here we go. Here we go. Let us know. I will. And I, I did this because, um, with, with uh, you know, Thanksgiving was busy. But to me, Christmas is more busy. So you can definitely, you can take this recipe to a dinner, um, a Christmas dinner. This is a transition from from Thanksgiving to Christmas season. Yes. For the Christmas season. I love Christmas. Yes, he does. Fa la 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 la. La la la. Unto la. us. Unto a child was born. Us, a Savior is born. Unto us. Unto us. A child is given. A child is given. Look at that. Look at that bite. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. so let us know. I probably should have. Um, mm. Gave you a little eggnog with it. I'm gonna tell you them. Mm -hmm. The cake is good. Mm -hmm. It's moist. Mm -hmm. And for ones that don't like uh, eggnog, like my wife, it's not overpowering. It's a good flavor for cake. Oh, okay. It really is. It's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. And, uh, and, and it doesn't taste like a vanilla icing or even an eggnog icing. Just a nice sweet treat. Well, that's it. Frightly <laughs> sweet treat. There you go. There you go. Well, I'm glad you like it, babe. I'm glad. I'm glad. Mm, that's good. So, once again, this is our um, eggnog loaf of bread. Beginning our Christmas uh, holiday season. So, just wanted to show that to you all. <coughs> Excuse yeah. me. And with so, that... I'm gonna get off of here. Okay. And enjoy my cake. Um so I'm so sorry I couldn't tell her to get her own cake today, but mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. if you like this kind of content, we ask that you please subscribe, please like, please click that notification button so you can be notified when we're doing something over here in the Taylor House. And uh I can't say happy Thanksgiving because it's already Thanksgiving. Right. It's Thanksgiving coming gone. It's coming gone. <laughs> But anyway, tis the season. Yeah, happy holidays and Love Merry it. Christmas to everybody. To everybody. Oh, no. Yes. From the tailors to yours. Love you guys. Love you. Let the journey continue. continue. Bye. Bye. Bon appetit.